What's up everyone? Spider here from Walden West Science Camp. Uh, here for another edition of a little series that we're calling the Waste Report. Waste Report is something that we do at camp after every meal that kids eat in the dining hall. And uh, we take food waste very seriously while we're at camp because it is a problem that we have huge problem in this country and definitely around the world. We can waste up to 50% of the food that we produce. It's kind of crazy. And uh, of course, um, as usual, I'm joined by my good buddy, Chunky the No Waste Monkey and the evil and dreaded Garbage Gator. Definitely keep your social distance from that guy. I got the two of them uh, sheltering in place here at my house. It's been a little bit awkward having the two of them have to share the same space, but you know, I'm trying to make them as comfortable as possible, you know, we're definitely not goofing around with them or anything. And for sure, don't worry about my 12 year old is definitely not using them as like some kind of toy or something. Ah, Chunker, I'm going to eat you. Rawr, rawr, rawr. No, you're not. I will never let you do that. That's a fight. Rawr, 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 punch. Anyway, we're trying to think of some catchy titles for this series. Uh, you know, super hilarious titles like uh, Talking Trash or Sheltering in Waste. I thought of that one. Uh, food Waste for Thought. We're just going to keep it simple. We're going to call it The Waste Report. In our previous video, if you watched it, you would know that we uh, went into some detail about talking about where your food actually comes from. If you think about it, you can take any food item. Um, in the case of our other video, we talked about a breakfast item, my personal favorite, pancakes. And uh, we talked about the ingredients that go into pancakes and we talked about where it all originates from. And we traced it, traced it back. And it's interesting when you do that, all of a sudden you realize that when you waste food, if food ends up going into a trash can, it's not just the food itself that goes to waste. It's all of the energy and resources and time and money that uh, went into the production of that food. So today, what we're gonna talk about is if you put food waste in the trash, we wanna talk about where is its final destination? Where is it gonna end up? When you throw something away, where is away. It's an interesting uh, question to ponder, right? So why don't you just take a minute to ponder that question. When you throw something away, where is away? Hmm. Hmm. If you said the landfill, you are correct. If you throw something in the trash, the final destination is a big hole in the ground, a huge pile of trash. Now, can you describe what a landfill looks like. Have any of you ever seen a landfill before? See if you can describe it. Take a minute, tell me what you think a landfill looks like. Mm. Mm. Tell me what you think a landfill smells like. Well, I wonder if any of you have ever even seen a landfill before. Have you ever been to one? I know that I have. When I was a kid, uh, it was like a little family adventure that we used to go on. If we had uh, barrels full of trash that the uh, big trash truck wouldn't take, then we had to put them in the car and we would drive on over to the landfill and we would literally take those barrels of trash and pour it onto the landfill ourselves. I'll never forget it as a kid. It was had a big impact on me. And that's something I'm guessing a lot of you out there have probably never done before. So something that you should probably do that I would love for you to do would be to take some time to research where your trash goes. When you put trash in a trash can, whether it be any kind of trash, especially food waste, what landfill does it go to? Do you know the name of it? Do you know its location? Do you know how far it is away from your house? Because remember that trash is not just floating on its own to get to the landfill. How is it getting to the landfill? On a big garbage truck. What powers that big garbage truck? Fossil fuels. There's so much involved. So take some time, research where your local landfill is. Maybe you could even go there and you could see it with your own eyes. Imagine that. I find that if people see where their trash ends up, 
it has a really big impact on them and it's something that's gonna make you not want to waste uh, as much not just uh, food waste which is you know in particular what I'm most concerned about but any kind of waste any kind of trash that you throw away if you see where it ends up trust me you're not gonna want to end up putting it in the trash as much Here's another question to think about. What happens at a landfill when it gets completely full and there's no more room to put any trash in the landfill? What do they do then? They have to find a new place where they can build a new landfill. Maybe they go and they take big bulldozers and dig a giant hole out of the ground and they start filling it up with trash just like we were doing before. Now, I don't want to end this video on you know a super sad note and just be totally negative about it because hey i create trash too sometimes i try to think about it you create trash everybody that i know in my life creates trash but there is a little bit of good news now if you do go to your local landfill something that you might notice is that it might not be called a landfill. A lot of landfills are going by a different name nowadays. They're being called resource recovery facilities. And um, I've gone there uh, not that long ago and uh, you can bring all kinds of uh, materials there and you can put it in bins to separate it. Like old porcelain sinks can go in one spot, old electronics can go in one spot, um, batteries, uh, chemicals like household chemicals that you don't use anymore you can take those there and they separate them so not everything that goes to a landfill ends up going into the giant hole in the ground and uh, unfortunately though one of the things that uh, can't be recycled or reused that ends up in a landfill is of course food waste which is the main subject that we're talking about in this series if food waste can't be recycled it can't be reused then what happens to it? It's just in the landfill now, but does anything happen to that food waste in the landfill? It is gonna be a subject for another future episode that we're gonna talk about later, which I hope you stay tuned for. All right, so y'all might remember that Chunky the No Waste Monkey is the world's only songwriting monkey. And uh, he occasionally will write a new song to try to inspire kids to help the environment and not waste food specifically. And he'll, it's kind of weird, but he'll shove it in the garbage gator's mouth. I don't know, maybe as like a distraction or something to keep him from eating him. So let's go ahead and check the gator. See if there's a new song from Chuck. Check it out. There's a new song in the gator's mouth. I'm kind of scared. Gotta be really quick. Gator's pretty fast. See if I can grab it. <gasps> like a ninja. All right, let's check out this song. How appropriate is that? Look, it's a new song called Landfill Rising. Perfect. Chucky, it's like you're a mind reader. I don't know where he comes up with it. Well, I just happen to have my harmonica here and uh, my guitar I guess looks like it uh, goes a little something like this I see trash cans overflowing I see litter all around Drink. 
Chunkier.